In 1965, the one-piece polyethylene shopping bag designed by engineer Sten Gustav Thulin was patented by the Swedish company Celloplast. Soon, they replaced cloth bags due to their portability and ease of carry. But how are these bags formed? Let us learn about it in detail. Supermarkets love it, environmentalists hate it, and almost everyone uses it. That's polythene. You will be surprised to know that polythene was discovered accidentally when some oxygen gas leaked into a container of ethene, resulting in the formation of a white waxy solid. Today, polythene finds multiple applications ranging from toys, plastic bottles, cling films, grocery bags, insulating cables, widely used all over and even bulletproof vests. For such a versatile material, polythene has a very simple structure. It consists of a long chain of carbon atoms joined to each other with each carbon atom attached to two hydrogen atoms. To meet the requirement of its various applications, the conditions for the manufacture of polythene are altered accordingly. This enables the manufacturers to obtain its different types. Let us study the two major types of polythene. HDPE, high density polyethylene and LDPE, low density polyethylene both of which involve polymerization of a simple unit, ethene. Now, consider a polymerization reaction taking place at atmospheric pressure at a temperature around 310 degrees Celsius with a metal oxide, acting as the catalyst. You can clearly see straight chains of polymers getting formed. The adjacent chains get attracted to each other by London dispersion forces giving way to a close-packed rigid structure. This makes HDPE very strong and durable. Due to this unique property, HDPE finds its use for making sturdy objects like pipes and containers. Another variety of polythene LDPE is the softer, more flexible one, commonly used in cling films and squeeze bottles. LDPE is formed when ethene undergoes the same polymerization reaction and oxygen is used as an initiator at a high pressure of around 1000 to 3000 atmospheres and a temperature of around 300 degrees Celsius. These conditions result in highly branched polymer chains. Branches prevent the chains from getting packed closely. Consequently, there is a lot of empty space between the chains as compared to HDPE chains which are tightly packed. This makes LDPE more flexible and weaker than HDPE. To summarize, the structure of polythene comprises carbon atoms linked to each other by single bonds and each carbon atom attached to two hydrogen atoms. If the conditions for the manufacture of polythene are altered, different varieties of polythene are obtained. While high density polyethylene HDPE is made up of unbranched carbon chains held together by London dispersion forces, low density polyethylene LDPE consists of branched carbon chains with lots of empty spaces between them. Consequently, HDPE finds application for making sturdy objects like pipes, while LDPE is commonly used in cling films. Have you seen the non-stick cookware in your kitchen? What makes this cookware different from the steel or aluminium cookware that we use? Let's find out what is this non-reactive, non-stick and almost frictionless surface of this cookware in our upcoming videos. 
keep imbibing. We believe in you.